hello and welcome to the second week of vlogmas as you can probably tell i'm not in my usual background i'm actually back at my family home um it's actually wednesday today as well so it's not really a weekly vlog is it it's more of like a half week but i've come back to my family home because i have a really exciting campaign i'm shooting with one of the local malls so i'm kind of like mixing in that with like seeing my family i don't know why i feel really out of breath i think it's because i've been like running up and down the stairs because i don't have stairs in my flat so like i'm not used to going up and down stairs so i'm really tired out and that is so embarrassing but i actually am thinking because they've got a really really big primark at the mall that i'm going to so I might do a little bit of a Primark shop. I feel like Primark is so good at Christmas, like with like the PJs and just like little bits and bobs to get like friends for their stockings and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I'll do like a little haul as well of all the bits I picked up. But yeah, I think it's gonna be an exciting video. It's not like as busy as last week. So I really feel like I burnt myself out last week with all that I did. But there are some really exciting like little festive things planned. So I'll give you a Christmas tour of our family home as well because my mum literally goes all out at Christmas so I will show you that later in the video as well but yeah I will see you when we get to Primark here she is the mothership oh, I already love these jumper dresses this is not gonna go well I feel like the Primark like pajama section at Christmas is the best ever I don't know what it is I don't know if they bring out new stuff or like I just I can't resist getting bits like this brushed cotton like these trousers oh they're so come on fill us off they are they're lovely i think are these the same yeah oh my. i'm so sad we were actually meant to be in paris like two weeks ago and um i could have got these pajamas for it so so cute oh i love these i can't remember what her name is from oh, you guys are probably going to be looking at this like uh hello it's is it Marie? I think it's Marie. Oh, that's cute. Bambi's your favorite, isn't it? Oh, that's so cute. That looks really soft as well. Oh, and the, mom, look at this. That's soft. And the sage green. Oh, oh gosh, oops. So lovely. Oh, I might have to get a pair. I might get a matching one with my sister for Christmas. Oh, that is so, okay, I'm gonna get that. That is so cute. Oh no, have they? medium and large oh that's really sad okay maybe not but if you guys do see it in primark do pick up because it's very very soft the only thing is we're coming home is i forget a tripod and i just don't have one here so i've currently got you resting on i think it's a vase and a, ha a harry potter book on lord of the rings it's a very thick book so we've got a bit of height going on but i thought i'd show you what i picked up from primark i didn't get as much as i thought i would to be honest just because it was like it was quite busy and loads of things in my size are sold out. I always find that whenever I go to Primark around this time of year, just like everything's gone. Um, so let me start off. Actually, I'm going to show you the most ridiculous thing first because I genuinely have absolutely no idea when I'm going to wear this. But I bought this sparkly navy bra and thong set and it was £5 and I just thought, you know what, that's a really good price. I actually really like their sets like this, just in like the regular kind of stretchy material they do. But I saw the glitter one and I was like... I like you so yeah I think oh, it feels quite itchy to be honest so I actually don't think I'll probably ever wear that but I like it I like knowing the fact that I've got a festive pants um and then I also let me move the receipt out of the way I picked up this little burgundy jumper dress and I am a big fan of like the autumnal kind of color palette at the moment I think that burgundies look really good with creamy colors and also this is like a chocolatey brown burgundy so it's a really lovely color and i feel like it will just look very nice with my pale complexion at the moment so yeah i really like this and you can also tie it up in the middle so i think that does help to make it look a little bit more expensive um oh i also picked up some tights because you really can never have too many pairs and i literally rip every single pair of tights i own so i was just like good to just have another i think it's five in you know my wardrobe um this i actually am quite excited to wear i think it's black it's black with like these bluey kind of sparkles going through but this it's this little like vest top and i just think this is very festive i think this with a pair of leather trousers and a really lovely like black blazer and a long line coat would look so nice and it's kind of a festive -y. it's a festive outfit if you don't want to go like all out sparkles and christmas i think this is a good top to kind of help you put an outfit together that you know makes you not look like the grinch um so yeah this was 
I didn't have the price on it. Oh, I don't know how much this was. Let me have a look at the receipt. Oh, it was eight pounds, which I think is actually a very, very good price. And this is a lovely material as well. So I'm very happy I got this. And then, of course, I could not leave Primark without some pajamas. So I picked up these ones, which I think I showed you in the video. So these are like neutral Mickey Mouse pajamas. I think they are so lovely like my flat is not the coldest in the winter but it's definitely not warm so i definitely need like full length pjs but these aren't too thick and they're the most like soft lovely fabric so i'm obsessed with these and i really hope where i was going to go to paris a couple of weeks ago i'm hoping that i can rebook for maybe the springtime and then i can bring these with me because i love them but yeah i feel like this is a good little primark shop obviously it's not a massive one but i wanted to show you anyway just because it's been a long time since i did a primark haul especially on this channel so yeah i hope you like the bits that i picked up <sighs> i am joining you in my car now um i feel like we've not had a car chat in a while uh, they're kind of boring, so, you know, I, that's probably the reason why. But I've been, like, hyping myself up. I've been driving for about 20 minutes because I've got a dentist appointment. And I hate the dentist so much. Like, it's not even like I'm scared of it. It's just that it, like, it bothers me that I have to go. Like, I just don't enjoy the process, the un just being uncomfortable. Like, if you guys, I feel like I only really spoke about it on my main channel, but I basically, a few years ago, I had a really bad car accident that I was in. Um, not me driving, I was a passenger. And it knocked out my front tooth and basically, like, messed up all of my other teeth. So I went to the dentist loads. Like, I literally went to the dentist I reckon probably like 200 times in the space of two years just to like get it all fixed. I was honestly at the dentist like twice a week, maybe more, three times a week. Like it was a lot. Um, so now whenever I go to the dentist, I'm like, oh, can't be bothered. But it's got to be done. And actually my wisdom teeth are growing through. And I can tell when they're growing through because my face looks fatter. I don't think you'll be able to tell. But like this side is like very painful at the moment. I can see it's swollen. So just kind of walk around with like a bit of a fat face. So yeah, um, so wish me luck. <laughs> you know what? I've got to give it to my dentist because this is very Christmassy. It's kind of warm, but I'm still absolutely terrified. But I appreciate the decorations. They are very cute. Back in my car now. Um, I feel like no good news comes from the dentist because I've been told I might need my wisdom tooth out, which is good news, I guess, because it's basically here. Like, I, mean, I said about it before, didn't I? It's so painful. So I might need that out. But to help myself and you know try and deal with my sad news i went to waitrose and honestly the looks that i got because i do look like a weirdo bought six bottles of whispering angel a angel angel why did i say that angel this is the best rose you will ever have like this is unreal i actually saw lorna lux speak about this and she loves it and then I got it when I was at the Oxo Tower with my family the other day. Um, I think it was in last week's vlog. And they charged like £80 a bottle, which I just thought was ridiculous. Saw it in Waitrose, £18.99. And I was like, right, that's it. I know it's expensive for Rosé, but like, it's coming up to Christmas. And my parents basically asked me to buy all of these for them. So I will be getting my money back, hopefully. But it's really, really good. So I would highly recommend if you are looking for a nice rosé it is a good one to invest in i'm actually now going to meet one of my friends for a coffee in a town not too far away i need to try and remember the way to her house because i really i really don't remember but i'm gonna figure it out um but yeah and then i think we're gonna get a little takeaway tonight which would be delicious so yeah just a very like cozy kind of at home day my mum said the cutest thing to me earlier and it also was so sad she was like oh I love it when you come back so that we can do these fun things I miss it when you're away and my mum is like she doesn't she's not like I don't know she doesn't, doesn't really say stuff like that so when she said it I was like oh my heart is so cute I am back from my coffee mum and dad are very happy with all the wines look she's popping it in the fridge now but I thought I would do you a little Christmas tour of our house um Dad, don't shut the door. Don't shut the door. I need to show this room. Oh, I thought door. my dad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> my dad, when I talk, he just shuts the door because I'm so loud. But I think I. Did I show you this earlier? No, I don't think I did. So, this is our little fireplace area. It's really warm in here because dad's had the fire on. But we've got our little stockings. So, this one's my stocking and this is Hannah's. And then I think I'm pretty sure everything in this house is the white company. It's like my mum works there. It's a joke. But, oh, mum, where's this from? This candle thing the three candles 
Isla Living. Oh, this is the shop uh, near my nanny and grandpa's I love. So this is business. lovely. Yeah, mum basically keeps them in business. And we've got our little glass tree thing. I feel like this moves every year. It used to be on the stairs, but yeah, it used to be on the stairs, didn't it? Um, oh, we've got our little presents here, which are really nice. And my mum, didn't you smash one of them? Which one was it? It just broke. It just broke. I think it obviously had a crack in anyway, these are really lovely. We got these from... I think Spirit of Christmas or Ideal, Ideal Home. Yeah. So yeah, this is our silver, white and like green tree. Oh, it's just turning it all on now. But this tree I love. So the tree's white company and this genuinely looks real. Like I love this tree. Um, little wine bottle there. Right, I'm gonna take you around. You're basically getting a house tour at the same time. So you've got our little wreath stick thing that goes up the stairs. And then in here, I, I genuinely am shocked at the size of this Christmas tree because we've never had one this big. They're normally a lovely, like, you know, humble six foot. This tree must be about seven and a half foot. It's massive. So the angel is, well, she's basically flying up there. But this is a real tree and it's very nice. It's very thick. So, yeah, this has got a very, like, traditional Christmas vibe with the gold and the red. But... It's really nice. Um, oh, actually, we've got more. Also, mum and dad bought new sofas. Look at the size of that. It's a joke, isn't it? And then we've got this fireplace with these little lanterns. I intend to steal these one day because I really like them. Then we've got our little sticks coming out of the flower vase. Um, the what? Oh, her advent calendar. So my mum has wanted this Rituals Advent Calendar. I think they came out with it last year and she really wanted it and it sold out. But how cute. Is this It's like a little village? Isn't that adorable? I think it was about, 80, was it 80? Yeah. yeah, about 80 pounds. But I would say actually for like the design of it, I think it's worth it considering like loads of beauty advent calendars are literally just like a box and you don't really get anything from it. Whereas this, I feel like even when the advent's done, you could use this another year because it's really lovely. So yeah, is that every, have I filmed everything? Yeah? Oh my, yes, her bauble, hang on. Sorry about the lighting in this, by the way. Here we go. So mum bought this gigantic bauble candle, which she's very proud of. Look at the size of that. It's absolutely huge, but it's very nice. Will you actually ever burn that? Are you gonna burn that this year? You will? Lovely. Let me give it a smell. Oh wait, I don't want to lift it up. What does it smell like? I bought a really nice candle today, actually. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't know why we're holding it up to the camera so people can smell it. Why did I do that? I don't know why I moved the camera nearby. But anyway, that is our little Christmas tour. I hope you enjoyed it. It's very festive in here. I feel like the house really feels full when it's Christmassy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Very proud of it. We need to get some more Christmas cards. They were clearly not very popular <laughs> this year. <laughs> okay, so we have got our Chinese, which we're going to enjoy with our Whispering Angel, which I think is in here. Well, oh, okay. Going the other way. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Where is it? Oh, gorgeous, lovely and cold. I am, oh, please ignore the way that I closed the fridge then. Bit of rosé, bit of Chinese. This is a good Wednesday night for me. <laughs> oh my God, honestly, I love coming back home because I feel like I just get free food and like free takeaway and it's the best thing ever. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Oh. Good? As good as you remember? Yes. Yeah? yeah? Very much so. Wait, why were you waiting for dad's answer? If he's... It, it needs to be a bit colder. Oh, okay. She knows I'm in charge. Did you put that whole Dad, you're definitely on? not, but yeah. Good morning. It is Thursday today. I feel like this week is going so quick. I'm having a no makeup day. I look so pale today. Oh my goodness. But I'm having a no makeup day because I'm getting my lips done, which is something I get done probably like once every nine months just to increase the volume a little bit but to be honest i get it to just hydrate my lips from the inside out because i do get really dry lips and the product that my like lady puts in is really like it's a good hydrator um so yeah i'm looking forward to that i mean they're not too bad at the moment to be honest so i'm not going to go crazy with them but i am looking forward to it 
Um, I just realised, I don't know whether I've shown you the cats today, so I don't know where Poppy is, but I'm going to show you Ollie because I feel like we can't have a home vlog without the cats in it, so let me try, let me try and find them. I think Poppy might be out, but we have got this one. Hello, Ollie. Hello. He's not interested. Can I interrupt you for a stroke? No, I cannot. Um... He's very sweet though, he came into my room this morning, he like, because my cats are very quiet, they just do like this little meow, and then I know he wants to come in, we had a little cuddle and it was so cute, and it's made me really miss having a cat, so um, yeah, I'll let you get on with that, I, was, I actually, I probably need to head off soon, because I need to go to the post office, so I will probably chat to you when I've done all my errands. I feel like every time I film in my car, there's just more rubbish in the back. But I've got a few minutes until my appointment. And I had a parcel arrive from Key, so I thought, why don't I just open it whilst I'm sat chatting with you guys. Also, apologies for the lighting. It's a very sunny day today, which is quite good, actually, because Key have sunglasses, so I'm probably going to wear one of these. Oh, my God. What is wrong with me? I can't open it. Hang on. Oh, this packaging is fully recyclable and it's made from sugar cane. That is good to know. Okay. I love key sunglasses. They are literally the only ones that I wear. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So I think it says glasses up to celebrate the festive season. Wherever you, wherever you might be heading, we have got the keys to get you there. So it's time to pre-game party and peace out this Christmas. Okay. Love that. How nice is this sunglasses box? Oh my God. Let's have a look at what we've got. Oh, absolutely. Absolute. I love these. I think these are called the coffee run. Oh my God, that is so me. Right, let me see if I can fix this lighting. Hang on. Are we better? Maybe. Right, I'll show you the others quickly because I don't want to subject you to this terrible, terrible lighting and my terrible face right now. Um, oh, we've got another pair. Oh, these are quite cool. Look at like the, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the, no, I've lost it. But these are nice. Love these. These are called the Lens Cat, I think. I think that's the name of them. Very nice. And then in this box, oh my God, we've got four more pairs. What is happening? Oh, I love these. Actually, I love all of them. They're very nice. These are called the Big Time. I feel like I've got these in another colour. These are giving me very much like Dior kind of vibes. Don't think they suit me though, do they? I don't know. But I am very grateful for them. They're called Sweet Dreams. I think my sister will look really good in these. Um, oh, what else have we got? Oh, these are cool. These are giving me very like 70s vibes. So these are the TTYL. Oh. Love it. Like, these are summer sunglasses, I would say. I feel like I would wear these on holiday. And then, finally, we've got... Oh, I think these are the same ones, but in, like, a pinky lens. Oh, wow, they've literally made everything look so pink. It's like I put a filter on everything. But, yeah, very, very nice. Thank you so much to Keith for sending these. And I'll link them all down below as well in case you want to shop any of them. Um, although my demonstration wasn't very good, was it? What time is it? Oh, fab, perfect timing. I need to head in now. So when you see me, I'm hopefully going to have, you know, lovely juicy lips. Fingers crossed, of course. Um, I mean, they're not going to be that much bigger, to be fair. Like I said, I'm not going to go crazy, but I can't, oh God, I will catch you later. Here they are, all uh, bruised and up close. I feel like this is the worst my lips have kind of bruised normally they're fine um but obviously because i drank the rosé yesterday at my parents i don't know why i did this but i drank before or i drank before i had my lips done so it kind of it does thin your blood i think they say so it makes you bruise a little bit more but you know what they're not too bad like from a distance you can see like they're not too not too bad and they're not too painful either um but yeah i will link shannon's page down below she is incredible like she is a registered nurse um i'm pretty sure she's training to be like a doctor or something so she's great she's great she's a medical professional and that's you know the reason why i go to her because she's just so good at dealing with like any kind of situations that happen but as you can tell, or maybe you won't be able to tell, but I'm back at the flat. I drove back up, um, that was about an hour and a half ago now, and it's so dark outside, so it literally looks like so much later that I'm filming, but it's really not, it's just quite dark now. But, um, 
yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite happy to be back, to be fair. It's a little bit warmer in the flat than my family home, because my family home is quite old. So I'm happy to be, like, in the warmth a little bit. I actually am just having a bit of a shop on Zara, just for some, like, bits and bobs. It always thinks I'm in the US, I don't know why. But I've seen this, like, bow dress that everyone has. Let me just find it. Bow, I bet it's not on the website, but... I see a lot of people wear it, and at first I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about it. Oh, here it is. I want your opinion on whether, like, this is, you know, a good Christmas outfit. Can you kind of see that? Like, can you see... There we go. Like, yeah, it's very... I think... Was it... Oh, I can't remember. Was it YSL? There was a brand. There's a, there's a brand that came out with a dress very similar, and obviously Zara have duped it. But what do you think? I think it's quite cute. It's very different. But I don't know if it's a bit too much and it's like one of those things I'll wear once and then we'll just never wear again. I don't really want to be wasteful like that. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. I'm hoping that it will still be in stock by the time this video goes live. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Um, what time is it? So it's four, half, well nearly half four and Tommy and I are going to get pizza soon. So I'm excited to show you that. It's, it's a Christmas pizza, which I've never had before. So I'm excited. Oh, lovely little... Um, thing from Tommy. What was that? What was that? Oh, I'm here with Tommy now. He just put the Christmas lights on for you guys. Or the Christmas tree lights. I'm so happy with this tree. Obviously, I know compared to my mum and dad's giant one yesterday, it's Is very, it very small. Though? Tommy, it's like eight foot nearly. Tommy, seven. Yeah, well, with the angel on top, I think it's about eight foot. Yeah, it's yeah. huge. Um, so it makes this one look a little bit tiny. But I love it nonetheless. We had a big one and it's stupid. I mean, we could get away with a big one, actually, thinking about it. Like, there is quite a lot of space. No, I think it's What's that, about half the height of me? Worth of space? Yeah, but then it just starts to feel like it's just... It makes the room look so small. Do you think? Yeah. I don't know. I always feel like bigger trees would make the room look bigger. Like, they always say you should have big rugs in a small room to make it look bigger. Mm. We'll see. Maybe next year we'll get a massive tree. I really want to get a real one. I know you don't, but... Well, it depends. We might have a two beds. We might need two trees. I think I'm just... I'm going a bit mad, aren't I? But I'm very proud of this one. And I'm very much looking forward to my Christmas pizza. It's like Christmas dinner. Oh, my... Tommy, this is like our first Christmas dinner. How cute is that? Well, the thing is, though, is you'll get the Christmas pizza and you'll go, oh, I don't want the turkey. Oh, no, it's not got turkey on it. It's got bean, um, oh, was it sliced? Bean sprouts, Brussels sprouts. It's got turkey on it, babe. What no, it doesn't. It no, it's pigs and blankets. Oh, all right, well, you're taking that off. You take that off and suddenly it would just be margarita pizza. No! Oh, do you see this? This is so mean. <laughs> but, yeah, I will definitely take the bean sprouts. Not the bean sprouts, the Brussels sprouts off. Oh my god, I completely forgot that the new Sex in the City series is out today. Um, it's called And Just Like That. And there's two episodes already. I cannot tell you how big of a fan I am of this series, like, of the original series, so... Oh my god, I'm so excited! Right. This is just... Oh, adverts. Damn it. But I'm watching it on Sky Go, um, because I don't have Sky on the TV here, but I've got Sky Go, so... Oh, let's turn that down so I don't get copyrighted, but I am so excited for this. I've had to pause watching Sex and the City because we're off to get our pizza, but my heart is shattered and broken into pieces like that first episode if you have watched it why would they do that to us why would they do that to oh my god my heart i'm gonna have to recover i'm gonna have to recover in the car and listen to some happy music because it's too much for me to handle also i love how i've just slowly gotten more and more ratty throughout the day um i've given up now i'm just gonna enjoy my pizza i probably won't show you my face for the rest of the video because no one wants to see that um but yeah, lips are looking good. You've got a bit of a bruise there now, which is a bit annoying, but I'm hoping I'll be able to cover that with lipstick tomorrow because, yeah, I definitely don't want that on camera. But yeah, I'll see you once we have our Christmas pizza. Can we just take a moment for the size of these pizzas? Like, what the hell? It's a really nice pizza place though. But yeah, we did not think when we said like the large pizza that were gonna be this big. I think they're 18 inches. Which is very I large. I just didn't really clock the size when we ordered them. 
No, nor I did just I. Thought it would be like, a, like, like domino small, size. Yeah, like small yeah. Oh my god, this is literally going to fill us up for the next I mean, week. I that's the garlic bread as well. That's the garlic nice. bread is the size of like a Domino's pizza. pizza. Yeah. So funny. I love, oh, I'm excited to try them. You guys, look how good these pizzas look. Like I am obsessed. They are gigantic. So this, I think I can't remember the exact name, but it's definitely a Christmas special. And then this is obviously like your standard pepperoni garlic bread, which is basically the size of a regular pizza, but like, I can't believe it. And then look at the little dip they gave us. It's probably gonna last about two slices, but wow, that is so cool. They are so big. We're back with the mirror chats. Um, I feel like the camera's a bit further away, so it's not too intense. Um, but the pizzas are really good. That's why I wanted to let you know. The Christmas one, I'm not a big fan of Brussels sprouts, to be honest, but the pizza blanket on top and like the kind of, um, cranberry jam thing oh, so festive it's like a christmas dinner on a pizza so it was really good and the pepperoni was amazing so yeah if you guys do live near a yard sale i think there's quite a few like i think they're in london i don't know if they're like around um the uk but they're really good but my advice would be get the small one if it's just two of you and probably only get one because we have got a lot left and i don't quite know what i'm gonna do with it so probably gonna have to invite my sister around to be like please take some pizza <laughs> but yeah anyway i'm gonna go to sleep i'm gonna finish watching sex in the city actually i'm gonna finish watching that and then i'm gonna go to sleep i'm gonna hope that my lips don't get so bruised in the, in the night they are very bruised oh my god they look worse in person than on camera anyway good night see you when i look a bit nicer tomorrow good morning it's friday today and i am in the process of making an eggs benedict which is quite bougie for us for a friday um i need to put this fan on actually but i've got the water boiling ready to put the eggs in there i'm really not good at poaching eggs so if anyone has any tips please let me know got the muffins toasting trying out new hollandaise sauce this is a tesco tesco finest one um so we're just going to try it. I couldn't make my own hollandaise. I absolutely, every time I do it, I curdle it. But this is like mine and Tommy's favourite thing in the world. And um, we just, we really only make, like, make it on special occasions. But there's no occasion today. Just, just thought we'd have it. We fancied it. Um, I feel like this water is ready now. So let me, oh, and the muffins. Everything's happening all at once. I can't cope. Oh my God. Okay. Not my finest work in terms of presentation, but... It's a very bougie way to start a Friday, so I'm looking forward to trying them, although this one does look a lot better than the other one. I'm gonna have this one. I finished filming now, um, and it actually went all right, I have to say. No. The filming went okay, I have to say. I'm nervous about getting the edits back, but this is one of the things that I bought when I was shopping yesterday, and I really love it. Not yesterday, two days ago. Um, it's from chickadee made in portugal and i just think it is the most beautiful vase ever so i mean i know i've got loads of these bunny tail things i mean i've literally got one there but i'm trying to like arrange this display so it looks like lovely and thick kind of like that one so i'm just trying to like layer them in size i mean i'm not a florist so i'm really not doing a very good job but i'm trying my best i've got quite a lot to get it literally looks like i've stolen these from a field um so yeah i'm just gonna keep going i'm gonna see what i can do a lot of them are quite damaged so yeah i don't know i'll give you an update when it looks a little bit better this is where i've popped the vase i actually feel like it looks okay there are a lot of these little things i think some of them are a bit too long but i don't think it looks bad also i got this candle the other day same place as i got the vase actually how nice is this it's like hexagonal shaped I really like it and it means I can finally burn this one um, or I could burn that one because I never burn these candles and I really should but yeah we've got a lot of candles on here so I need to like hurry up and burn them. In other news though I'm going to start making my dinner. I don't think Tommy's hungry yet so I might just make it for me. So I'm thinking of doing a stir fry just because it's really easy so I've got um, like steak strips, um, egg noodles. I mean to be honest I don't really... <laughs> I don't really ch like eat red meat, but I feel like I'm kind of bored of chicken stir fries. Um, and then I'm also going to use this Korean style sweet chili sauce, which sounds amazing. And then pop some veg in as well. So I'm hoping that will fill me up. It is quite early. It's only half six, but I'm just starving. Like I need to eat now. A relaxed and chilled Friday is exactly what I needed. So I've got Dynasty on the TV that I'm sure Tommy is about to tell me to change. Yeah? Correct. Yeah. 
yeah, anyway. Got a bag of squashies, my faves. I am one happy and content girl right now. Um, and actually the squashies are doing wonders because my wisdom tooth is growing through again. I literally don't understand why it just, it's every couple months, it's just so painful. But anyway, on this, I'm going to say goodnight. I would recommend this TV show as well. I know I've been showing it for ages. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.